Okay, so you see that? That is that thing in the sky, which we love here in Florida, but this is an actually working with Jacobal and uh, she needs some shade. So we're gonna put a shade cloth up, got it on the ground. We're gonna get some anchors installed. I'm gonna show you what I'm using and how I'm gonna do it. And uh, then we're gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I already have lumber up here. This was part of the area. So that's good. If you didn't have that and you ended up having an anchor kit, which this is what I've got. And if you look very carefully, you can see we've got these. This would be for if you were masonry, right? I am gonna be using just the stainless screws along with these brackets, which I got all of this on, you know, that one popular website that's from A to Z. Okay, then I got a shade cloth and I got a cable kit. And that is because that distance is greater than this. And that is the bird that's super happy about the bird feeder. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do a triangle and we're gonna do three points, right? Because it's a triangle, one, two, three. We are gonna put one point the highest, highest so that we can shade, uh, shed the water. So what I will probably do is shed the water off that backside. So this one will be the highest and those two will be the lowest. And I'll probably put that one second to low or lowest, lowest, highest, and in the middle so it goes backwards. So let me go ahead and get these brackets. I'm gonna get them installed and then I'm gonna start rigging some cables and you might also need uh, to trim these and I'll show you that when we get closer to that point. So I'm gonna go ahead, hop up the ladder and get some brackets installed. I have my center point marked. And since my center point is marked and anchored, I'm gonna go ahead and get a turnbuckle. I'm gonna put it on the center and I'm gonna go ahead and hang that. And that's so that I don't have to measure because if I'm off of my measurements, by the time I put this next turnbuckle on, I will end up with it being too loose and then that's just, that's just the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop up there where the ladder's there and get this corner put. Don't you feel much safer in sport mode? This is why we always do our JSA. <laughs> There's no point in a safety meeting if you aren't gonna have a JSA. All right, now that I set the DeWalt drill down, that's right, I'm hooking this turnbuckle up, okay? And I'm not gonna tighten that. What I'm gonna do is put a cable in that end. I'm gonna bring it to over there, get the cable cut if need be, but get it loosely attached, and then I'll worry about tightening these up. Okay, so that fits. Now, I do want that tighter, so I probably will shorten this cable. Uh, realistically like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back down and open up the cable. Okay, so now that I know this fits, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down. I'm going to show you what I put on here and go ahead and tighten it and put another one on. All right, so I've got the cable down. You can see I've got my first clamp on. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second clamp because this is going to be under constant tension. And I already did try this, but this doesn't fit any of your standard uh, nut drivers. 
So pretty much just by hand, come in here, put these nuts on as tight as you can get them. And then I didn't have any DeWalt ones, so I'm gonna use these. We're gonna get it all tightened up and then back up in the air and then we'll turn the turn buckles. Why is your drill in timeout? Battery was dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so time to tighten these. And I already did that opposite corner. So, what I like to do is the corner, well, opposite. So, these turnbuckles, the way these things work, is you just turn them. And the trick, once it gets too tight, you could use a plier, but the screwdriver will do just fine. And once it gets to the point where my hands don't have enough strength, Put it in there and use it to turn it. So when I get this thing tightened down too much, I'll pull the screwdriver out. So right about now, you can just you look at the shade plug, you can see how it's flattening out. So at this point, I will tighten that other corner before I close the gap on this one. Uh, I really want it to spring. Uh, this cloth is a breathable fabric, so it should let water uh, permeate through it to some degree. But again, I gave it a slope so the water will run off. We just really want it tight enough that the water will run in the direction we intended. So I'm going to go tighten that other corner. Okay, so I'm in the third corner here now. It's a triangle, right? So three corners. So this one is a little harder by hand, but I'm going to do as much as possible because I just want, like I said, this as taut as possible so that it sheds water. All right. Can you see that? Can you see the shade? Actually, the sun went away. But we are all relaxed, as you can see. She's sleeping. She's done filming. And we have a shade cloth. So we're going to clean up. And uh, then we'll come back and uh, I'll share my final thoughts. cleaned up. So what do you think? Okay, in my defense, I thought it was going to be bigger, but That's what she said. we had to start somewhere. So Guys, it's okay, Jake. I don't know what six inches looks like either. So nobody's really going to know. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheese this in, right? So can you see there? We're going to get a big, uh, I think it's called isosceles, right? Or is it an equilateral? Equilateral. equilateral e we're gonna get an equilateral triangle, right? The and giant. Then, and then we're gonna get another small one on the other exactly. side. Exactly. Boom. Understand. Big in the middle, small on each side, and. Uh, Looks like a pretty awesome sandwich. Yeah. Exactly. So, patio is getting shade. Check the description for all the links for the turnbuckles, the shade cloth, the Dewalt drill, the Dewalt, <laughs> the ladder, the ladder. And uh, you guys have a good one. It's time to, to waltz out. <laughs>